And it isn't just an increase on people crossing the border. There is now an increase of agents and CBP officers being assaulted in the line of duty. I sifted through this data here just released from Customs and Border Protection, which confirm the numbers on assaults have increased. And according to this data, there were 618 total CBP officers and or Border Patrol agents assaulted in the 2021 fiscal year. But when I spoke to the agents out on the field, they tell me the biggest problem isn't just an increase in attacks, but getting the cases prosecuted. In the 13, 18th Street gang members. It's very common for there to be assaults. They know where you guys are. Spit at or kick. Other guys that have <clears throat> been hit by vehicles, hit by ATVs, um, have their batons taken from them have been attacked by, by multiple assailants. Assaults on the border are up. We had the issues with, with the Haitians in Del Rio, um, where they took over a couple of buses, they assaulted the agents. So it, it's always a possibility. A female agent was hit with a two by four while patrolling near the border wall around three in the morning. She had to be taken to the hospital with injuries to her face and her arms. Nine times out of 10, we're, we're outnumbered. Um, one agent with uh, uh, 10, 10 illegals or two agents, three agents with 40 or 50, and you only have so many sets of handcuffs that you carry, and there's always that, that risk. Border Patrol agents say they're also being shot at from the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. When it does happen, a lot of times the U.S. attorney doesn't take it as seriously as we think they should. Agents say it's harder to get these assaults prosecuted. Oftentimes we have reached out to the, the local, to the state, um, uh, the, on the state side to get the prosecution or, or to, to get the, the case taken because they'll take it a lot quicker than than our guys will take it. So what's the solution? That's nothing that, that can be done on the enforcement side. That needs to be a fix in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately, for some reason, they, they don't want it. They don't want to do it. For now, it's the risk these agents say they'll take to protect the United States of America and its borders. It is an unfortunate reality that our agents are assaulted while safeguarding the U.S. In these instances, they will be prosecuted to full extent by Border Patrol on the federal or state level. However, the data I gather shows it isn't just assaults on agents that are increasing. It's also the number of people who illegally entered the country with criminal histories. These images you're seeing right now are all people that have been arrested by Rio Grande Valley Border Patrol agents in the last few months. For this fiscal year nationwide, Border Patrol agents found 34 gang members, 340, excuse me, gang members, 150 of them were right here in the RGV. Many of these gang members come with extensive criminal history. Homicide, rape, sexual assault of a child. These offenses uh, are very serious. It's a problem agents say they're always prepared for, as a gang member doesn't typically look like this all the time. Sometimes they can be young kids, even females. Data for this fiscal year shows 10,763 people with criminal history were caught by Border Patrol agents trying to cross illegally. And the gang with the highest amount of crossings was MS-13, followed by La Paisa's gang. And just today, a massive drug bust and a stash house dismantled in Star County. Border Patrol agents, as well as the Star County Sheriff's Office, busted a home in Escobares with 29 people being held inside. Also inside the home, 230 pounds of marijuana plus a loaded gun were also found. Another 21 undocumented immigrants that you're seeing right now were also found inside a small RV trailer.